Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out how does your person you are thinking about or dealing with feel about you right now. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me how does Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn's person feel about them right now. more six of cups at the bottom of the deck your person is missing you a lot thinking a lot about you reminiscing about the good times both of you have shared with each other but they're really unhappy we've got the sun here in row first maybe this is because either both of you are not together right now three of cups in row first Either both of you are not together right now, or could be going through some issues, or it could be distance, six of swords. could be any of these things. I feel like with the three of cups in reverse, king of pentacles in reverse, and the five of swords in an upright position, it feels like your person, they feel really unhappy, maybe because both of you are not speaking with each other right now, or that they could be feeling that you're playing games or you've been really sarcastic towards them. Hmm. This Five of Swords, for some reason, feels... I rarely use the word sarcastic in any of my readings, but it feels like that because it's in combination with the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Sun in reverse. Like they're not happy with something you have said. Or if you've been sarcastic towards them, because these swords can indicate communication, right? Or it could just have been miscommunication. They're all they're happy, they're unhappy because of the last conversation that both of you have had with each other. A bit of a passive aggressive energy I'm getting here as well. And that mind games when I mentioned that earlier on, with the King of Pentacles in reverse, they could be feeling like you are, you purposely don't want to invest in them, purposely don't want to speak with them, or if you do speak with them, it's, it seems sarcastic. It's like, there's this energy of, I don't know, something that they didn't like about something that you have said that makes them really sad but despite all of that six of cups they miss you they still feel like you're their soulmate they still have really good feelings for you despite maybe some misunderstandings or arguments or sarcasm mind games hmm. feel you are both not together right now both of you not rejoicing not having fun together not socializing together or just not being with each other right now physically justice here is in reverse they feel that this is not fair maybe it could indicate both of you are separated again justice in reverse can indicate that and the world here in reverse they feel really stuck they don't know how to what to do or that they don't know how to maneuver around this issue both of you could be facing right now six of wands either the six of wands and the six of swords here either they feel like you're right now opening up options you like you are seeing other people dating other people or that you're sitting on your high horse as in like just couldn't be bothered by them anymore and the six of swords and that you are moving forward moving on without them they feel like maybe you not speaking with them right now or being sarcastic towards them it's a sign of you not interested interested anymore in them and that you are moving on without them 
that's one scenario. The second scenario I'm seeing here is six of ones can indicate them perhaps wanting to take actions towards you, move towards common water with you with the six of swords. But they have, it feels like a bit like a plan, five of swords. But they don't want to tell you that. Nine of swords here in reverse and the sun in reverse. Looks like they don't want to tell you something. They feel like they shouldn't tell you about their upcoming plan towards you. If it's long distance, maybe their plan is to go and see you. Six of wands fight for you. The six of one is somebody who just returns. Somebody who just returned from like a fight, a battle, a battle, war. Let's see more for the But because the six of cups here it makes it makes me feel like they could be planning to visit you, re or to return to you, or travel towards you, if they live far away from you. Hmm, a bit of an element of surprise, even though we're not seeing a tower, but feels like that. <laughs> okay the fool feels like tada i'm here you know with the six of cups a bit of a s surprise energy i'm getting here seven of wands but they feel like maybe you are gonna block them or maybe you're not gonna let them return but seven of wands also could be them like being very protective very defensive or that them protecting this idea of their plan on seeing you, Six of Cups, of wanting to take a new leap of faith with you. Unless, another scenario I'm seeing here is that they may be feeling that you have liberated yourself from them, you have cut them off because maybe they've hurt you before, you're behaving a little bit more defensive, now because you're unhappy with them they feel like maybe if they were to propose to you of a reconciliation that's gonna make you feel like you've won yeah so five of pentacles in reverse seven of cups Eight of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Swords here in reverse. Sorry, I'm distracted. I'm not sure if you guys can hear. There's literally a club <laughs> somewhere around here. I can hear the music. Boom, boom, boom. It's Friday night. Anyway, Ace of Cups here is in reverse. They feel like the love that both of you once had with each other, this relationship, either someone has rejected it or that it didn't take off. It started off very romantic, lovey-dovey, and then now, something has happened. And the sun in reverse indicates there's a lot of unhappiness, right? And seven of swords in reverse, they feel like, yeah, they feel like returning, but there's one thing about the Seven of Swords here being in reverse can indicate true colors. Maybe they feel like they might have to just surrender. They feel like eventually you will know what their intentions have been all along, which is to stick around, to stay, and not to leave or to return to you. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Alright, our signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with two playlists, as usual, for you to check out if you want to. First one is from my second channel. It's titled Asia. Um, it's my travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. Second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. Um... But these readings are still valid. In fact, I just posted your bonus reading a couple of hours ago. Check it out if you want to. It's on this playlist. If you can't find it, go to videos. Click on videos. Scroll the way down and you'll 
um, and you will find, oh, actually, it's just for Virgo. Virgo, yeah, it's only for Virgo, because I always just pick a few. It really depends. I'm like doing mix and match now. So I do the collective and for a period of time, and then I'll go back to doing, you know, single horoscope readings that I will call them as a bonus reading, okay? Um, I'll just go... I'll just go back and forth like that. I just need to make changes every now and then. But anyway, check it out if you are a Virgo. And what else? Yeah, I'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me. My information is in the description box below. For those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care, signs. Bye.